I'm going to show you how to start up Autodesk Inventor and how to get it ready for working this semester. Uh, so, what we need to do is find out where Inventor is hiding. I currently have two copies of Inventor loaded on my computer, so I've got uh, Inventor 2015 and 2016. If you're trying to find it, you could either find the logo on your desktop, if it is there, they may not have installed it so the, de so the icon is there. If that's the case, so we go to the start bar, we go down to all our files, search across to find Autodesk, and what you are looking for is Inventor Professional. Now, I know that we're all students, but we don't get a student version, we actually get the full professional version, which is pretty cool. So, open up that and you'll come up with this screen which takes a minute or two to work through it's not quite a complex program so it might take a while to open on your computer mine's a little bit faster now when you first open it you'll probably get a different screen than I do I've been playing with this for a while so I get different opening screens yours might have start learning or start using you don't want to learn you want to start using Learning will take you through tutorials, which you do not need because I will teach you. So click start using. It may or may not come up with a screen like this. If it does, close it. Or yours may open like this. This is a blank screen where we can start doing anything we want. So you want your inventor to open and look like this. If I get ahead of you at all, you can pause the video and come back, so don't worry about that. I'll just keep going. When you are starting a new project or part or anything, so you've got your new symbol up in the top corner, you click on there, and it gives you all the new things that you can do. Now, there is a big problem with the way Inventor gets installed, particularly through the school system is they install the program as fast as possible which means they put the American version on there which is real bad because if we look over here where it says units you will see that mine says millimeters but yours probably says inches and America is one of only two countries in the world that uses inches and it is completely stupid so, before we even start using this program properly, I need to fix this so that you will get millimeters instead of inches. The easiest way to do that is to just click on metric over on the side here and load up the metric templates. But as you can see, there is a lot of them. We, we get different standards from around the world, so we've got ANSI, DIN, which is German, BSI, GB, ISO, JIS. So we've got standards from England, from Australia, from Japan. We've got the international standard. And they're all different. And it's all the same at the same time. So clicking the right one here is pretty difficult, actually. So I'm going to show you how to only get the ones you want here. What I need you to do is to open up a folder in this file path up the top. This is where all these templates are stored. So this PC, Windows C Drive, so go to C Drive, click Users, Public, Public Documents, Autodesk, Inventor 2016, if you have 2014, that's okay. Use that instead. And then templates. And then you'll have a folder like this. What I want you to do is to select everything under these folders. Leave these folders alone. And then delete them. Then go to the student drive and find where I have stored the templates on the student drive and drag them into here. That means 
that when you next time you open an inventor when you click on new you will only see these templates and they will be in millimeters okay so that is the first task so open up inventor check to see if you have millimeters or inches here then open up this folder uses public public documents autodesk inventor templates and add remove the inches templates from here and add the millimeters ones that I have supplied you if you have trouble ask me then close inventor and start it up again and we'll start drawing okay good